I'm glad you could join me today for prayer. This summer we're going to be walking with Jesus. If you read through the gospel stories in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, especially Mark and Luke, the, the story of Jesus is a story of journeying through places, of walking around and meeting people and healing people and talking to people, eating with people. That Jesus travels from city to city, from place to place, spreading the word of God to all those he encounters. And so this summer we're going to stop and take time to meet Jesus in those places. To see the people that he stops and talks to. So I invite you to hear this word of scripture from Luke chapter 4. 42 through 44. At daybreak, Jesus departed and went into a deserted places, and the crowds were looking for him, and when they reached him, they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. So he continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. So this is at the very beginning of Jesus' ministry. And he has just spent time in the home of one of his disciples where he healed a, a mother-in-law of one of the disciples. And he's already drawing crowds and so he goes and walks off to find a quiet place, a deserted place to pray. And yet people are still looking for him, still wanting him, still needing him. And they want him to stay and be their own personal savior. They want him to be there to heal their people. And he says, it's, I'm here to move beyond that, to spread the kingdom of God. to all the cities around. So I invite you to close your eyes and breathe in deeply. Release your breath. I invite you to think about walking with Jesus. Can you picture him walking those dusty roads? With each step, he encounters a new person, a new group of people. I invite yourself to picture yourself in one of those houses, one of those spots that Jesus is walking by. And he stops there with you. He stops there with you. And he listens to your story. He hears about your life. He hears about your heartbreak, your pain. And he finds that spot in you that God could enter as he talks with you and shares with you what he has discovered about God, as he shares with you what the world looks like when God is there. He takes that, that place of pain, heartbreak. That place where God can enter. And he speaks to it. What does he say to you?
for that moment Jesus looks at you looks at you with love and kindness and compassion and you feel that that place within you start to heal and then he gets up blesses you and continues on the journey he continues on the way his footsteps carry him on to the next person the next people I want you to think about those next people he encounters Who do you know that needs Jesus to smile at them with kindness, to show them compassion, hold them close in your heart as you felt Jesus hold you close? May God bless them. And I invite you to take another few deep breaths. And when you feel ready, I invite you to open your eyes. To open your eyes. Feel, feel how wonderful it is, how wonderful it is to walk this journey with Jesus. Amen.